question we have to find the measures of three angles and radians of a triangle with a given vertices so uh, it's just a good idea if we can just uh, make a rough sketch of the triangle uh, showing the vertices they are in 3d by the way that's one 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 uh, e is one negative four two and f is negative two two and eight so i'm going to use vectors over here in order to find the angle so first i'm going to find vector de so vector de is going to be uh, the final coordinates of that is e minus the coordinate the coordinates of e minus the coordinates of t so that's just going to be one minus one minus four minus one and two minus one which is going to be zero minus five and one likewise i'm going to find ef ef is coming as minus two minus one uh two minus of minus four which is plus four and uh, uh eight minus two which is uh, uh eight minus two over here so that will be negative three six and six and finally we have uh, uh df the vector df which is uh, minus two minus one two minus one and eight minus one so this will be uh so over here we have negative three one and seven so we got all the three vectors and now we can uh, use the dot product to find the uh, uh to find the uh angle so what we are going to do now is i'll say that let's say the angle between these two vectors are alpha so de dot df will be magnitude of de times magnitude of df times cosine of alpha de is 0 negative 5 1 df is negative 3 1 and 7 and the magnitude of de is 0 negative 5 1 the magnitude of df is going to be magnitude of negative 3 1 and 7 and cosine of alpha is what we have to find in it so uh, if we find the dot product, that's going to be 0 minus 5 plus 7. The magnitude will be root of 25, 0 square plus, 20, uh, plus 5 square plus 1 square. This will be root of 3 square, 1 square, 7 square, and this is cos of alpha. So this will become 2 is equal to root of 26. Uh, this will become root of uh, 7 square is 49 plus 10 is 59 times cos of alpha so if you rearrange this a little bit cos of alpha will be 2 over root of 26 times root of 59 59 times 26 is and taking the square root and 2 divided by this answer and taking the cos inverse of this value comes out as 87 close to 87 so uh, up to two decimal places that is 87.07 degrees this is cos alpha and now if you find beta with the similar fashion uh, i'm going to do that as well now so uh, let's do it over here so for beta i'm going to uh, write the vector of ed so vector we we already have a de but ed is going to be exactly opposite so for ed i'm just going to change all the signs so that's zero one and mi minus one 0, 5, and minus 1. And then we have EF. So EF already we have as negative 3, 6, and 6. So uh, now we'll say that ED times EF is going to be absolute value of ED, magnitude of ED, magnitude of EF times cosine of beta. Uh, ED dot EF is going to be, uh, this is 0, 6 times 5 is 30, and this is minus 6. ED is going to be root of 0 square plus 5 square plus 1 square. This will be root of 3 square plus 6 square plus 6 square times cosine of beta. Cosine of beta. So 30 minus 6 is 24. This will become root of 26. This will become root of 36 plus 36 plus 9 is going to be root of 81 and cosine of beta. Uh, so if you rearrange this a little bit cosine of beta will be 24 over root 26 and root of 81 is definitely 9 because 9 times 9, 9 times 9 is 81 so, so let me just uh, grab my calculator and get this value 
So this value comes out as 58 up to two decimal places, 40.47 degrees. Since we got alpha and beta, so the value of gamma uh, as in the third angle, gamma by gamma, I mean this angle. Uh, the third angle is going to be as per the properties of a triangle, as of the property of the triangle, sum of all the three angles of a triangle is 180. So gamma is 180 minus alpha plus beta. What is beta? We already have. What is alpha? It's 87.07. And subtracting this from 180 comes out as 34.46 degrees, up to two decimal places once again. Thank you.